What's up YouTube? It's the Pack Life here and we're finally back with another video. So um, first and foremost, I really, really want to apologize for the lack of content. Um, I kind of hinted at this happening um, in my you know last couple of videos because it's like uh, I've been following Panini's release calendar and um, honestly, I just really wasn't interested in any of the products coming out you know not you know i i like to break a lot of stuff you know we're not called the pack life for nothing but you know I, I do like breaking just random stuff for the channel but at the same time it's like i also you know buy these products for my own collection and you know sometimes if the products that gets released is just not that interesting to you you kind of just I mean, in my case, at least, I just, I, I kind of fall back from, you know, the, the, the mayhem of what's happening with cards nowadays. So, you know, that's, that's really, there's, there's really no excuse as to why the content has been dry on this channel. It's just, like I said, I, I haven't, um, I really wasn't interested in any of the products um, that Panini released, you know, within the last month or so. And another thing is, like, Contenders, it kind of, it was kind of off-putting for me a little bit just for the simple fact that it was you know it was a first off the line product and it like in my opinion f for the stuff that panini was releasing after that it's like the contenders just didn't i don't know it just it just didn't you know um for lack of better words it just didn't contend with like flawless you know coll collegiate flawless or collegiate nt so, you know, that that's kind of, um, you know, why I kind of stayed away from, you know, any of the product released. But I did promise, though, that as soon as, like, the NBA stuff came out, that I'd be right back to it. And um, fortunately, fortunately enough, this week I was, you know, I was shopping Target, and I happened to stumble on some of the hoops packs. I, I was totally um, unexpecting. Like, I, was, I, was, I wasn't expecting... Um, these to be out yet you know I, I knew they were going to come out soon but um, I wasn't really sure when exactly they were going to drop so you know it was a pleasant surprise to walk into Target and see these on the um, you know in the card section um, so today I will be breaking four of these fat packs now a little detail about these fat packs there um, in my opinion these are the best value for retail they come with 30 cards per pack, and they also come with um, exclusive Teal Explosion and Orange Explosion Parallels. Now, the Teal Explosions are not numbered, and the Orange Explosion Parallels are numbered to, um, I believe, 25. So, yeah, that's, you know, that, that's why I believe there's, there's, you know, this is the best value. I didn't, I, I haven't looked into NBA Hoops Retail, or I mean Hobby. I'm probably not going to open any of the Hobby um you know hoops hobby but i will as soon as prism drops and maybe even donruss as soon as donruss drops i'll probably um be ripping more product but for now this is kind of like a preview to this year's nba hoop season and as you guys can see what um hold on one second yeah as you can as you guys can see on the packaging um zion williamson is on the cover and it's it's really unfortunate though um the injury he's going through or he's had to deal with but, you know, hopefully he can come back this season and um, bring back um, the tremendous hype that was, you know, flooding the, 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 the card, you know, the hobby. But, you know, hopefully he come back sooner or later. And, you know, I, I just wish him the best of luck. So, you know, b before I get into the break, I, I do want to say that um, I did open a bunch of this stuff on uh, offline. So, you know, this is and, – and I apologize for the lighting. I'm trying to work on a new – um, yeah, can you, yeah, I'm trying to work on a new, like, setup, so it's where, where it's more easier, because my setup before, I used to have to go all the way upstairs, and then make sure, you know, I, it was just, it was just a very, very long process to actually get videos out, but, um, now I'm trying to have it to where I could just turn the camera on, or actually just buy the product, turn the camera on, and just get to, um, breaking for the channel, so hopefully, you know, with this new setup, that's, that'll be more, you know, it'll be easier to um, get content up for you guys. But yeah, just um, you know, to get to get into it real quick, um, I did break a bunch of this stuff online, um, offline, and um, this is you know I pulled 
quite a bit of, um, you know, some of the, you know, the top tier rookies. Nothing crazy, but, you know, I, I'm really in search of John Morant because as of right now, I believe that he's actually the favorite to win rookie of the year. He's averaging like 19 points a game. Um, so we'll have to wait to see what um, Zion does when he comes back, if he comes back. But um, this is the, the teal explosion cards that it says on the pack that, you know, that's, that's I guess, um, exclusive to these fat packs. And um, so far I've opened about six of these. And in, in, all, in, out of the, in all the six packs I've opened, um, or no, it's actually a little bit more, maybe eight, eight. I've only gotten two rookies. Now, this the DeAndre Hunter is not even a... Uh, I don't know. It says it has a rookie card stamp, but it's not really... I don't think it's like a true like a true rookie. Um, I don't know. It just has a rookie card stamp, but I don't think it's like the true rookie. I did get a Chuma Okiki um, true rookie card. So, um, from my experience, it looks like the teal explosions are about... Um, at least rookie. The, the rookie ones are about like one per five fat packs and um from the other breaks i've seen it, it's also looking like um you could get an autograph in um one in every like 12 packs so i um i think i bought all of the packs available at target so um maybe we'll be fortunate enough to get a um, autograph out of this so you know um let's go ahead and get to the break um here are the Odds, in case you guys want to look at them yourself. Uh, it's kind of, might be a little bit hard to get to focus. But I'm going to try my best. So yeah, hopefully that works for you guys. If you guys, if it actually does focus, you can just pause the video. And just look it over yourself. So yeah, let's um, go ahead and get to the break. Yeah, man, honestly, I, 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 <laughs> I missed the channel, man. I missed you guys. But like I said, I kind of wanted to just stay away because um the products themselves it just wasn't that interesting to me man i, I you know usually when that happens like i just don't want to throw away my my money because it's you know it's not it, i could be using that money to add to my collection um so yeah this is the first of four as you can see these hoops cards they actually look pretty nice i mean i was surprised at how nice they they actually came out i'm, I'm not normally a collector of hoops but you know zion the Zion NBA jersey hype got to me, so I went ahead and picked up a couple packs. This will prob probably be the only break of this product on this channel. I'm just going to, after this, I'm going to wait for either Donruss or um, Prism to drop. So we got some Kyrie. If you guys pulled anything crazy out of this stuff, man, definitely leave it in the comments. Let me know what you guys got. I'm always interested to see what kind of breaks. That you guys are getting into and man um like i said in my last video that design giveaway is still going down um i appreciate the new subs even though i haven't uploaded content i think i've gained about 10 subs in the past month or so i really appreciate you guys man thank you for um joining the community so far in this in this pack oh wow okay so teal explosion Kawhi. from my experience it's either it's like two in every three packs you get a teal explosion, and it, when when I open all four of these, you'll see. Um, I don't know what even I don't know what this is. This is like a class, a rookie class card, but it has the separate players. I didn't. Oh, I guess it. You know, it's it's not. I don't consider it a rookie card because there's no rookie stamp, but you know, it's an individual card. I I really like the arriving now cards though. These are pretty awesome cards. I don't. They're I guess they're inserts, but. It's unfortunate that they don't have the rookie card stamp on these because if they did, th this would be one of the, um, you know, I try to get multiples of like John Moran or Zion for this particular card because I just like the way it looks. You know, yellow is a pretty, you know, it's it's not common that you find yellow cards that look pretty good. Um, Romeo Langford, rookie. And the um, collision on, on, on these packs is, so, some packs will have a bunch of rookies. And then some packs will have like two or three rookies. It's it's just weird. Boom. And to start it off, here we go, man. Uh, one Zion. So now we're at two Zions. Um, and it's it looks like you get a um, if you get a Zion Williamson rookie, you get a um, thigh bowl behind it. I don't know why it's like that, but um, other breaks on 
on YouTube I've seen have been the same. You get a Zion, you get a Bible right behind it. So not bad for the first pack Zion Williamson rookie. That card goes for about five. If you pull a Zion out of these fat packs, it pretty much pays for the pack. So you know it's always it's always great to pull a Zion. But you know honestly, out of performance wise, um, I really believe John Morant's the front runner as of right now. I mean he's had a couple of thirty point. He's had at least one thirty point game already against Brooklyn, and he's he's had um, numerous twenty plus point games. So as of right now, I mean Zion, if he does come back, he's gonna have to put up some pretty you know some pretty decent numbers because um Jaws already um you know he's already filling his resume and as of right now he seems like the most deserving of the award and you know what what my opinion you know I believe that like if the Pelicans don't have a chance to do anything this year they'll probably just they'll probably just sit Zion out you know um but we'll see we'll see what happens Okay, this is a backwards. Yeah, see, so like I said, in 1 in 12 packs, you're guaranteed an auto. That's what it seems like. It doesn't say it, but here it goes. I picked up all of the fat loose packs, and here we go. We got an Al Farouk Aminu um, Orlando Magic autograph. Not the best auto, but, you know, I can't complain. It's autograph. Um, so, yeah, I'll take that. And then, bam, like I said, see, um, two in every three packs it seems like you get the teal explosion another um cool insert so we'll put that to the side um Giannis lights camera action these inserts are pretty cool I actually like the inserts that are that come these packs um Steph Curry lights camera action this is this is a different one this seems like it's like a prism version of the card um it's 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 shiny I, I guess it's the gold version and man it's unfortunate man as a warriors fan it sucks seeing steph curry clay thompson pretty much our whole roster obliterated by injuries but you know every time a team has like a crazy run like they do there's always going to be a you know down seasons you know it's, it's always going to be um a rebuild you know a time to rebuild and as of right now, that's what it looks like Golden State's going through. Bam, another Ja Morant. You shouldn't be happy about that. A tribute. I, but, you know, I guess even though it says tribute, and it's still a rookie card since it has the stamp at the right corner. So I'm happy about that. Zion and Ja Morant. Tyler Hero, his stuff, you know, last time I checked was on fire. I don't know how it's doing now, but, you know, he's still balling. I'm happy about that. So, yeah, this is not, not bad. Um... Pulled an Al Farouk auto out of this pack. Pulled a Kevin um, Ja, Tyler Hero, and now Kevin Porter Jr., rookie. So this is a pretty good pack, actually. So that was pack number two. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, man, that um, since I got the autograph, I'm almost certain that there's going to be nothing in, the, in these remaining packs. But, you know, sometimes Panini will surprise you. Never know. I always wondered how come when the cards, you you know, you the cards get packaged, how come some of them are upside down? Like, does anyone have a genuine explanation for why that happens? Please, please, if you know, leave it in the comments. I'll probably ship you out something cool. Um, but, yeah, just let me know, man. That's because it's like, you know, if you're breaking for videos on YouTube, it's, it's, hella, it's really irritating having to flip the stack around all the time. As you can see, the the collision is pretty crazy, man. Sometimes you'll get a ton of rookies. Sometimes you'll get one or two. Matisse um, Thibault. Um, Hamadou Diallo insert. Get out of the way. Pretty cool insert. Um, here's another one of those um, class rookie class cards. Cam Reddish. Arriving now. I think this is my first time pulling this one. Pretty awesome. Um, Darius Garland, rookie base. Eric Pascal. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this this guy, man. His 30 point game. I mean, he looks like he has um, really high potential. 
you know, hopefully he can develop. Cam Reddish. Bruno Fernando. Bam, another Zion Williamson tribute. Awesome, dude. Um, that's two. So far, that's two Zions in three. In three packs. Okay. So, you know, so far I would say this is a pretty pretty decent um, break, especially for the price point, $5 a, a fat pack. You, know, you can't go wrong with this stuff. Once again, um, yeah, it's crazy seeing second year Luca cards, second year Trey Young cards, because when I first started this channel, man, I was breaking all of those, um, you know, last year's Prism, and that's the cards I was looking for. So it's, it's kind of <laughs> weird seeing their second year cards. I'll just flip these later off camera. But yeah, see, I mean, this is, I don't know. <laughs> Brandon Ingram. Steph Curry. Or no, Giannis. Oh, I said Steph Curry, Giannis. Um, this is a different, oh no, lights, camera, action. Donovan Mitchell base, um, Sabonis. This is a gold version, I guess. And see what I mean? Like, like I said, it's it's just weird how in some packs you'll get a ton of rookies, and then in some packs you'll get like two or three. It's just weird, man. Um, Dylan Windler, rookie R.J. Barrett tribute. Not bad. Um, Jackson Hayes, base. Anthony Simon, second year. That's a weird. That's weird seeing that. And then Jalen McDaniel's. Okay, so that's that's gonna do it for this break. I guess the like I said, the highlights are to me are the Al Farouk Aminu auto, and then the um, Zion and Ja rookies. Um, Zion, Kevin Porter, I'm a fan of his. I just like his play style. Tyler Hero, John Morant, and a Zion base. Not bad for, you know, spending $20. I, you know, you pretty much get all your money back, maybe um, a little bit more. So, yeah, that, that's going to conclude the break. Would I recommend this um, for collectors? I, I definitely would. Um, this this rookie class is actually pretty decent. They're not as good as last year's rookie class, in my opinion, but it's a pretty good rookie class. Um, and if you're a beginning rookie, I mean, if you're a beginning collector or you're just new to the hobby, this is definitely a good product to get your feet wet and get into the um, game and see if you, you really like it or not. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this break. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. I'm not 100% sure when the next upload will happen, but... Just know that when Prism drops, um, a pack like video will be following, you know, sometime shortly. So, yeah, um, like I said, I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.